guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that everybody's having a great day today. So today I have another unboxing for you guys. I know I just did one that was like my very last video I just posted to the unboxing of my Speedy B25. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave it in a link down below in the description box. I will also try to leave it in a card. Um, I haven't done the card thing yet, but people always seem to be leaving cards or I hear people say that. So maybe I should get on the little card thing and they go like this like it's up here anyway <laughs> uh, I'm not like an actual youtuber I just like happen to turn the camera on and talk to you guys about random things anyways so I ordered something else from Louis Vuitton it's not a handbag it's handbag related so I'm gonna unbox it for you guys I picked it up from the uh, my local UPS store just like this and I literally have not opened it at all. So I'm opening it with you guys right now. Um, I'm excited. For what's new? I'm excited. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so here it is. Okay. There is the box. And I guess they did the receipt outside the box. So the receipt was just sitting in there like this. Let me see here. Return voucher. And it just has the receipt on there. It says that I purchased it on the web because I did. Again, I don't have a Louis Vuitton store near me. So um, most things that I purchase, I get online. Um, okay, so I'm just, well actually, I don't really have to do that, do I? I was going to undo the ribbon, but I don't really have to because it is in a um, little pull box. So if I just kind of slide it to the side, let's see here. There we go. Does anybody else do that? I try to keep it like as intact as possible. I'm weird like that. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, this is it. Okay, let's see what is this oh they probably sent me more perfume samples and yes they did they sent me some more per perfume samples like they did in the last one it comes in its own little dust bag okay so here is the item it comes in um, plastic wrap or not plastic wrap sorry um, tissue paper wrapping Oh, look at it! So, that's what I got. It is the uh, bandeau. Oh, wow, it's really long. This is the confidential bandeau. I think that's the name of it. I'm pretty sure it's called the confidential, confidential bandeau. If not, I will um, correct myself and leave the correct name somewhere on the screen. But yes, I'm pretty sure it's the confidential bandeau. So yeah, I got this to go on my Pochette Matisse. Um, I also see people wearing it just like as scarves or as head scarves. Uh, I don't know why I felt the need to do that. That was really stupid. <laughs> but yes, I've seen people wear them like as cute little head scarves. I've seen people wear them as bracelets. Um, yeah, and so I really wanted a bandeau to go on my Pochette Matisse and let me tell you why. Oh, here's the tag. It's uh, made in Italy. It's 100% silk. And this, um, these, um, I know people, I've heard people complaining about or just saying that their tags fall off of their scarves or their, or their bandeaus from Louis Vuitton. And I think that they're actually supposed to fall off. So as you can see, they're not attached. I can put, stick my finger right through there. It's not attached very, um, like strongly to the silk. Um, probably just so that you can remove it easily um, if you want to remove it and I think that they do fall off over time eventually so that is that and it's way longer than I thought it was going to be like it's it's quite long um, anyway okay let me tell you why I got this so um, if you've seen some of my other handbag videos you will know that I do have the Pochette Matisse and the Empreinte, Empreinte Noir um, the black empreinte leather and I absolutely love that bag it's it's one of those bags where I still can't believe that I own it because it was my first Louis Vuitton bag it's really what got me started on wanting luxury it's like kind of what got me addicted to Louis Vuitton carried it a lot um, not at 
where I work, like I would carry it out running errands or if I had to go to like a sh wedding shower or like a, a dinner date or something, that's when I was carrying it. I wasn't really carrying it to work. Um, and I found that I actually wasn't getting as much use out of it as I wanted to because it is a beautiful bag and I wanted to, to use it. But I was like, I'm not going to carry it to work. You know, that's ridiculous. I don't work in an environment that's conducive to these types of um, items. You know, probably something would happen to it. I'm not going to carry it. Well, I wasn't carrying the bag at all, you know, because I spend most of my day at work and I go to work. So if I'm not carrying the bag to work, where am I really carrying it? You know, maybe to a random wedding or two, but those would come around every couple months or so. So I just, I don't know. I felt like I wasn't using it like I wanted to. So I started wearing it to work. And one day, and when I would wear it to work, I would put it, um, I would store it in a cabinet. Like I have a file drawer in the bottom, um, like the larger drawer of my filing cabinet is empty. There's nothing down in there for my, like my handbags or if I need to put a jacket in there or something, I can stick whatever, like my personal items down in there in this cabinet. And so I stuck, I was sticking my handbag down in there. Well, one day I was pulling it out and the top handle of the Pochette Matisse kind of dinged or like snagged the top of the, um, of my little filing cabinet. Well, it made a scratch and I think it indented the leather. I think it scratched like through the leather. Anyway, it really pains my heart to even talk about it. I was so upset that I came home, I put it in, I stuffed it, I put it in its dust bag and it's been sitting on the shelf for months because it was like, <laughs> this is going to sound so stupid, but it was like a traumatic experience, you know, it was like, oh my gosh, this is my first Louis Vuitton bag, it was so expensive, like, I can't believe that I just did that to this bag. Now, I'm sure that I could send it off to Louis Vuitton to get repaired for a fee, um, I'll show it to you here in a second, but I just wanted to go through this story first. Um, I'm sure I could get the top handle of it replaced um, for a fee, but like I said before, I don't have a Louis Vuitton around me and I really, um, I want that to be like a personal experience where I go and I talk to them and see what they can do, um, or if I just need to get a whole new bag, I don't know. So, I always wanted a bandeau to go on the Pochette Matisse, but it wasn't something that I felt like I needed per se, you know, it just, it looked nice and I've seen lots of pictures where people have bandeaus on their PMs. So, and I always thought it looked super cute and it was a fun way to dress up the bag and add like some more color to the bag without actually getting a colorful, colorful bag, if that makes sense. So, um, I'll probably get more bandeaus in the future um, just to add, because I started, this is my first bandeau that I've gotten and as you can see it's neutral, it's just black and white and gold um, with the LV logo on there. So I started off really, really neutral um, and, and I'm glad that I did because I did really want something that had a pop of color, but um, I was just really indecisive and I really um, want to be able to try on the scarf if it is more of a pop of color, I wanted to be able to try on the bandeau on the bag before purchasing it. I didn't feel comfortable buying a blue, like I really would have loved a blue um, scarf or bandeau for the bag, but I didn't feel comfortable buying a blue one without seeing it on the bag first and like seeing it how it looked on me, you know what I mean? So I felt when I'm purchasing something like this online, I felt like going with neutral colors was a really safe bet and I wear a lot of black, so I just thought this would go really well with the bag. Um, okay, so let me show you what I'm talking about. I have the Pochette Matisse down here. Um, so I got the scarf to kind of go on it for like a right now fix. Um, and it's not like a fix, like I'm not fixing it because I wanted a bandeau in the first place. This, I guess just kind of, this experience gave me a reason to buy the bandeau. Um, and you know what, it's probably not even that big of a deal because just glancing down at the bag now, I can't even see where the scratch is, but I know as soon as I start, okay, yeah, there it is. You're, I mean, you're really, you're not even going to be able to see it, but just my heart ached when I saw that, y'all. I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just did this to my baby. Like, for the longest time when I would carry it out, I would keep the dust bag in it and I would carry it around, like, and then when I wanted to set it down, like, in my car or in a chair or something, I would take the dust bag out and put it in its dust bag before I set it down. And finally, when I started, like, being a little, I won't want to say, like, loosey-goosey with it, but when I just started not babying it as much is when that happened and I really you're not even going to be able to see it but there's just like a scratch right here and I don't have like one of those cameras where you can maybe you can see that can you see that right there there's like the top of it 
you can kind of see. I don't have one of those cameras that auto focuses, but it's like a little scratch right here and you really, you really can't see it and I'm sure it's not really that big of a deal, but um, I don't want it to get worse um, with use over time. So for now, I'm going to use the bandeau on it. Um, I have to look at videos on how to tie the bandeau, but let's just see here. Oh, that's going to be really cute. See, I knew I wanted a bandeau for this bag to go on, to go on this top handle right here. I wasn't going to invest in one just yet because I didn't really need one. You know, I just kind of wanted one and thought it would be cute. Um, but now that that happened and I wasn't going to use the bag without it just because I wanted it kind of like as protection. Um, but yeah, I think that's super cute. So you just kind of wrap it around this little handle here. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to start using this bag again. I have to look at videos now on how to wrap a bandeau around my pochette Matisse. Um, but I wanted to show you guys one other thing about this bag. It comes with the black, it's like a black thin emprunt strap. Well, when I purchased it, I also purchased this monogram bandolier strap. It just has the black um, leather on the other side with the monogram on one side. And I use this a lot with my pochette accessories as well. Um, but I, when I bought it, I bought it to go on the pochette Matisse. So I think that this will just be super cute with the monogram strap. Let's see here. I'm really excited to start using this bag again because I just couldn't use it with the scratch on there like that, you know. So with the uh, monogram strap and then with this bandeau. See, isn't that cute? I just think that's going to look really, really nice together and it's going to complement really well. Um, and I think it'll make it a little bit more um, like edgy and a little bit more like unique, I guess, because the Pochette Matisse is a very popular bag right now. Um, like I said, I'm so glad that I have it. I, I don't know. I considered selling it like right after I got it because I was just like in awe. Like I was like, I'm never going to use it. Like it's just like the perfect bag. I just want to like put it up on a shelf and look at it. But um, I wanted to use it. And, and the second that I did, I got a scratch on it. Ooh. I'm still like, I'm still really upset about it. Like I will at some point I will take it in to get this top um, if they can hopefully get this top strap replaced. If any of you have any um, experiences with getting your pochette Matisse, I know people have gotten it reglazed because they've had glazing issues on the side. I haven't had a single glazing issue. Um, I used it on and off for like five months, six months, and I never had one uh, glazing issue at all. And I did use it like when it was super hot outside in the summertime. Um, this is the only thing that's happened. So if anybody has ever had um, like something else on their pochette Matisse replaced or fixed other than the glazing, like either the top handle or this um, lock right here. Just let me know and hopefully, hopefully Louis Vuitton can fix that for me. But I will still keep using this bandeau even if it is fixed but because <laughs> it's super cute and I really wanted one anyway and I'll probably get more um, just to add a little bit more variety. Like I said, um, blue is like my favorite color, blue, gray, those types of things. So I would love a blue gray bandeau or like a maroon one for the fall. So yeah, I think that's going to look really nice. Now I have to do some research on how to tie it on there because I have absolutely no idea. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and for listening, listening to me once again ramble about really, really expensive handbags. I know that these items I do not talk about lightly. I take them very seriously. So um, yes, just thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and click the thumbs up below, click the thumbs up button down below if you liked this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.